People, 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 good morning, good morning, and a good morning. Welcome back to the Arsenio Buck Show, and welcome back to another live episode, man. It's been such a long time. Such a, such a, such a long time. You guys already know who it is, man. We're getting back into this material mask. Oh, my God, and we're approaching a very, very, one of the biggest weeks of my life, practically, basically, figuratively, literally. Coming up real soon, so you guys, you guys will hear a lot of that story, but I really want to get into this Lewis Hose. I want to finish and top off this material mask so you guys can finally, basically understand how vicious of a mask this is. Now, I'm going to kick it off with a Tony Robbins story. Now, of course, Tony Robbins was telling this story in his private jet and everything, in terms of all t- kinds of materialism. So, Tony Robbins, he was young. He was just like me, right? He had a bachelor's pad, okay? Um, just like my friend and I back in 2008, we had a beautiful apartment. It was gorgeous. We had two balconies. We had a Roman tub. We had everything, right? Tony had the same thing. And you know what? I don't know what was going on. Of course, he was in his early 20s, and he was, you know, doing all this materialistic stuff. And next thing you know, he hit a bad investment, lost everything. He only had probably about $20 to his name at this point. He was trying to get back in contact with another friend who had owed him probably more than $1,000, and this friend disappeared. So he said he was so pissed, and it was during the month of December. He went to a buffet at some restaurant somewhere in uh, somewhere in California. I forgot the name, but it's in California, right? And because he went there, he was trying to load up on as much salad and as much food as he possibly can to survive him for the Christmas, I guess you could say. And next thing you know, he saw this little young guy and his mother, of course, the young guy's mother, walk in. Young kid opened the door, probably about nine years old, had a vest, had a suit, everything. Opened the door up for his mother. And then, of course, he pulled the chair out for his mother. And Tony was just in awe by it. He was like, oh, my God. So he went over there. He's like, hey, little man, I saw what you did for your mother. And he started talking to him. And he was like, well, I don't have it. And he was telling him, he's like, you know what? You should pay for your mother, too. He's like, well, I don't have any money. And Tony said, why? He said, well, I don't have a job. I'm nine years old. And he said, oh, don't worry. He pulled out what little left he had of his money. Tony Robbins, that $20 he probably had, 20 to $30. And he gave it to the young kid. All he did was smile at the mother. He walked out, he went back home, and he was like, oh my God, what have I just done? I gave this kid the last little of money I literally had in my account. And so that very next morning, he got something, of course, in the snail mailbox. And it was from his friend. His friend basically saying, I'm so sorry, I've been very busy, this and that. Here's the money plus interest. And Tony started crying right there. And he was like, you know what? When you have very little left, you need to keep on giving. Now, am I telling everyone out there to, of course, uh, basically give as much as you can when you don't have anything left? Am I telling people who have like $1 or $2 left and you have a family to give that? No. But you need to understand that when you stop thinking about yourself and you care about other people – that's 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 when that's when you, when you will bring in. See, we don't know when that mail was sent. We don't know if it was sent the day before. We don't know what laws were at place and at stake at that particular moment. But Tony gave all the rest of what little money he had left to a young kid, a stranger that did su- uh, he, that did something that left such a lasting impression on Tony. And you know what, Lewis Hose, after that story, he went on to say what Tony was describing as, you know, ripping off that present time material mask. Because at that given moment, Tony was thinking so much about himself and thinking about his personal needs until that little kid walked in and held that door open. And he said, you know what, this little kid deserves more than what I have left. And he gave it to him. But on the other hand, of course, when Lewis Hose went on to, you know, talk about what Ty Lopez does and whatnot, he was saying that, well, this just seems like the exact opposite of what Ty Lopez does. And what he and what he says in terms of, okay, again, I tell, told you guys about this so many times. He goes on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and he lavishes, lavishes himself in luxury on a jet plane with half-naked women. 
Does Tony Robbins do that? No. As a matter of fact, I just went on Bloomberg Business and saw Tony Robbins. Of course, he owns a resort in Fiji. And before he left, every time Tony leaves that particular resort, this, these people at the resort, they sing the song for him. And they clap. And it's the most beautiful symphonic song I've – oh, my God. It's just wondrous. And they do that out of sheer appreciation of saying, you know what, Tony? You're from America, but you have employed us. You have given us hope, and we work at this resort because of you. It's amazing what Tony does. I mean, he does, of course, um, what is it, Date with Destiny. If you guys go on Netflix, you guys can get that 30-day, uh, what is it, 30-day monthly trial, 30-day, 30-day trial for free. Watch the Date with Destiny. Tony did it about one or two years ago, and you know what, though, what he does there is just remarkable as a matter of fact i think one of my uh a guy i interviewed on this particular podcast mike shushniak he actually booked him he booked himself a spot in that particular thing and it's like five thousand like it's between one thousand dollars and five thousand dollars just remarkable and just for mike to be around those types of people and to get go through with that breakthrough i think i need to hurry up and message him as, as a matter of fact following this podcast because I really want to know what happened but of course he was in Jamaica he went to Jamaica to hurry up and you know basically relieve himself of everything because he lives just a little bit outside New York and then he went on date with destiny and he does this and that this guy's a busy mind he is a hustler 100% wonderful guy and he went to one of he had already gone to one of Tony Robbins one of the biggest and I mean the biggest convention held centers whatever you want to call it ever and i'm so amazed and i'm so happy that tony robbins and me actually you know figuring out about him through some of the oh my god some of the worst days probably at the end of 2015 because at the two at the beginning of 2016 there were a couple jobs there were a couple of people i mean there were like japanese people this and that and there was a lot of ugh, they wouldn't even give me a particular class and they said because you're black and so I was, in, I, of course, I was listening to Tony Robbins at that time. So that was the last little bit of racism I've endured here. That was about a year and almost eight months ago. Since then, I'm literally on top of the world right now. So anyways, let's not get off track. I want to tell everyone out there, what can you do right now? What's available to you, men and a little bit of women who are going to be sitting on the side who are probably ha- – who have those men, those athletes who are suffering from this particular mask. Well, when you take off this mask, for the men out there on the Instagram, buying the suits, having the watches, walking around like, pompously, okay, such as, you know, of course, the guy I work for. Uh, when you drop this mask, what's going to be available is fulfillment worthiness inner peace attracted people who are interested in who you are not how much you have feeling enough satisfaction with your achievements gratitude i remember of course grant what, what is it i forgot his name grant something grant cardone he was having an interview uh and he was in a car with of course ty lopez and he was like what's the worst business disaster or the biggest loss you've ever taken and ty lopez just kept referring to women 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 and Grant was like, no, you have to give me something more than that. I'm talking about business. I'm not talking about women. And Ty just kept referring to women. Why? Because that material mask. Of course, if you flaunt all that garbage, you have these half-naked women in your jet plane or whatever you want to call it, private jet, you're going to attract to you more of those women who are just after you for those pockets. I mean, look at the ridiculous reality TV shows out there in America. What are they called? Of course, Desperate Housewives. Listen to the title. Desperate Housewives. Women housewives who are desperate to make money from a particular individual. Moreover, of course, an athlete. See what I mean? You're going to be able to attract to you people who are interested in who you are. And that's going to be my next podcast tomorrow morning. Because I, you know what, I've hit a huge, huge surplus in one particular podcast in terms of three keys to developing self-confidence. I'm going to make another one in terms of positive consciousness tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for that because what happened yesterday morning was absolute heaven for me. So anyways, you're going to be able to live in gratitude, okay? Being someone who is grateful for what you have, for what I have, no matter how little it is, it's going to 
allow you to become, you know, to live a more joyful life. When we live in gratitude, life gives us more to be grateful for, right? The practice of gratitude kind of alleviates that constant pressure, especially what man feels to make more. It can easily, you know, ease that burden of all the struggles that men endure behind that material mask. See, guys, in general, we are all gifts. We, when, when you see someone filled with love and joy, it's contagious. My student yesterday, I was having a conversation with him. He was like, you know what? How are you? And I was like, babe, and he just saw this big aura just around me. And after 10 minutes of talking, he was like, I can feel your energy. I am so happy for you. And he said that from like such a deep, a deep inner area of himself because he felt that energy. When I was there yesterday morning with these people, I'm talking about a prize fighter, an ultra marathon runner, these entrepreneurs, this, that, these gorgeous women. They were all open-minded, and we were all having a blast, and it was the first time we had ever met each other in general at that one particular moment. Of course, this group knew this group, this group knew this group, but we all came together, and it was just this big ball of amazing energy. See, joy and love is contagious. It's everywhere. It is. It doesn't matter how much money you have, they have, who has. What matters is how you show up in the world. So what I want you to do right now, you got to practice gratitude. For the men who are suffering from this, you need to practice gratitude. Number one, when you wake up in the morning, take out your journal and write down three things you are grateful for. Now, of course, I do my meditation. Very, very grateful. I always go into my meditation and it's always about uh, developing relationships. It could be about uh, overcoming procrastination, this and that. Affirmations, I say it out loud it, from such a deep level. A very, very spiritual level. That's what I do, of course. But, of course, for men, it's going to be very hard for you, especially an athlete. You're like, meditation to hell with that. Write down three things you're grateful for unattached to money. Number two, before you go to sleep, ask the last person you talk to three things they are most grateful for from the day. And in reply, tell them what you are grateful for from the day, too. Another one is, Lewis Hose wrote this down in his book. He said, his voicemail message asks people to share what they are most grateful for when they leave a message. How about that? So now, of course, they don't have voice message out here in Thailand. But in your country, if there's a voice message, say, you know what, man? I am so grateful that you did not pick up this phone at this particular moment. <laughs> you could do that, too. Just giving you an idea. Number four, start. Meetings, if you have meetings with your team or whatnot, or business partners, by allowing the people to just be grateful. Like, you know, having that heart talk at work. When you have that heart talk, it's always about, oh my God, there's so much tension, I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. You know exactly what you want to do, what you need to do, but it's all about just saying to yourself, okay, I understand that there's a lot of tension building right now, but right now, I want everyone to point out three things you're grateful for right now. And if you go around the room, you, you know, go around the room, you're going to be able to get all that out. And once you do, people are going to be like, huh, maybe what I was about to complain about wasn't such a big deal after all. And having that hard talk and not talking about what the other person said, you guys are going to come to agreement. You do not need to have 10, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, three hour meetings. No, you can have a meeting in 30 minutes and accomplish so much. And of course, number five, acknowledge people daily with a few words of being grateful for. This is all unattached to money. And you know what? This cultivation of this attitude you're trying to bring, it's going to bring so much joy into your life and, and into the relationships you have right now. You're going to be able to nurture them. Now, of course, you have women. Now, from the women's standpoint, if you're dealing with this, of course, this also relates to women. So if women are out there and they're like, oh, this and that and this, this also relates to women too. But if you're the woman on the other side of the equation and you're suffering from this particular man that has this mask on, the next time the man in your life shows that material mask, lean it, to help him from, you know, for, to help him. So I guess stop hiding that mask or stop hiding behind that mask. It's important to highlight that intangible, right? The priceless characteristics he possesses, okay? 
that's more important to you. One of the ways you can do this is by acknowledging the things you are most grateful for and for that man in your life. You can know the personal traits. I'm talking about the humor, the kindness, the empathy, the selflessness, the presence. Listen, because the journey to positive self-worth is a long one. So letting him know how valuable he is in a very non-material way is going to like realign your relationship with him. And you know what? That material mask is just going to end up coming off. Now, this is a process. It's not just going to be magic. You're not just going to click your fingers and everything's okay. It's going to be a process. So what I'm telling you right now is to begin this journey right now. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this material mask. It was literally a two weekend series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And again, if you guys got any questions about it, please let me know. Going to be a few, I mean quite a few podcasts coming up over the next week because it is the 17th right now. We're heading into the Wheel of Life podcast, which I will do Christmas morning. Uh, So many other things, so many big things happening. And tomorrow, developing that positive consciousness. Oh, I love it. And with that being said, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. Over and out.